Hello, everyone, and welcome to this month's Lunch and Learn, presented by Officer Reports. This month's topic is the real-time dashboard. So what is it? What does it do? Uh, how is it, is, does it make your company better or help your company succeed? My name is John Greer. I'm the Customer Experience Manager here at Officer Reports. And why is the real-time dashboard important? Well, it allows you to view events at your sites as they happen in real time, essentially giving your business a mission control center of its own. It allows you to track what's important to you by selecting what activities you'd like to see pop up on the screen as they happen in real time. And it allows you to select the sites that you want to see these activities at. So if there's one you really want to hone in on, maybe a problem site, or they may be training, or maybe a new site, you really want to keep an eye on what they're doing there, you can go ahead and select that site um, from the options, and I'll show you how to do that. If you have a question during this Lunch and Learn training session, you can go ahead and click the second chat bubble icon in the upper center of your screen, which will bring down that chat window. Select my name from the list of participants, so you can type directly to me. If you've got any questions, I'll be the one to see them. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the live portion of our presentation today. And here, I've just logged in, and you see the say for the summary, the first thing you see whenever you log in as an administrator um, to also reports.net. We'll go to reports and then the real time dashboard. Yeah, as you see here, I'm just left clicking and dragging, using the scroll bar, uh, scroll wheel rather on my mouse to zoom in and out. You can also use the icons here to do the same thing. This here is the, the map view. Uh, and then any activities that are done will appear in the right hand corner of the screen. Status connected is very important. So when you first launch it, it'll say status connected. If it ever says status disconnected in red, and we do lost connections to the real-time dashboard and will not display any real-time alerts in the right-hand corner of the screen. And activity since, so to show the date and time of that activity. And it, so it won't show previous, uh, anything previous to what you had since before you had opened the real-time dashboard. So let's take a look at the sites. So under site options, as you see, we've got all of our sites listed on the account here the client and the site. We can uncheck these boxes to hide the notifications. And we can actually go to a specific site. So let's zoom in by clicking on go to on a specific site. We've gone ahead and done that. And it's top security demo one, which actually appears to be demo three in this instance. Let's go ahead and find demo one here. Oh. No, demo one is on top of demo three, that's right. And then up in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see what activities you can monitor. So pretty much anything in officer report, you can monitor. Anytime an officer signs in, does a tour stop, scan, if they clock in and out, submit an incident report or any report, uh, create a new pass on log, truck log and visitor log, and if your supervisors do a field inspection report. Moving on to the options section, you can see items to keep on the map. So when events start occurring, you'll see a jumping red icon with an icon representing what's going on at that specific site. Depending on how many sites you have, they'll start to stack on top of each other. So they'll start from jumping. And then once another action occurs at the same site, that jumping icon will flatten and be at that site. And another jumping icon will appear. We'll go ahead and show you right now um, what that looks like. So we're going to have an officer to go ahead and sign into a site. So they're selecting the site from the officer report stock on application. And as you see here, Jane Doe went ahead and signed in. Gives you the distance from the site, the accuracy. So everything's good there. Looks like she may have already been clocked in, so let's just say she's leaving for the day. But let's go ahead and clock her back in for, for this demo, huh? So 
as you see here, she clocked in for her shift. She was clocked in by the application, so it wasn't a web browser or the officer portal at officerreports.net. Distance from the site is 87 yards, accuracy from what her phone was reporting. And as you see here, that clock in is jumping while those other two are flat on the site. So what happens when they scan a QR code? Well, it's super simple. They're doing, going around the site, they're doing the tour tracking rounds, and they're scanning a QR code. Whoop. She pops up right there. And again, you've got these tour stop scans, which give you information uh, about the last site scan, the last, so the last scan at the site, the last scan at this stop, so the last time this specific tour stop was scanned, the rating, the accuracy, uh, who was done by, along with the name of the tour stop. Now, what happens whenever they submit a report? We'll go ahead and show you that now. Let's see here. At this time, with incident date, so when the incident occurred. Uh, so if they submitted this, usually it wouldn't be as quick. Uh, so not within the same minute. So whenever they open up an incident report at date and time stamps that time, and when they're done with it, that's the time you would see up here when they submit it. The site, officer, and the type of incident that they're reporting. Let's have Jane go ahead and submit a password log. And here you can see that Jane has submitted a new pass on log entry, which will appear for any officer that logs into that site after the uh, after it had been submitted. And one of the the biggest things um, is the tour tracking, the clocking in, clocking out, and the signing in. So you can see when your officers arrive there. It's probably the biggest thing that you want to actually uh, take note of or make sure that the activity is selected. So tour tracking, uh, signing in, clocking in, clocking out are the big ones here. But you may also want to do like incident reports, daily activity reports, and depending on the site uh, or your company, visitor log, uh, truck log, etc. So it all really does depend on what uh, features and what uh, options you want selected depending on how your company runs. And now we can see here that Jane has submitted her daily activity report for her shift and we'll just go ahead and have her clock out. Again, the real-time dashboard is located at the bottom of the report section, so reports and real-time dashboard right down here. And it is an amazing tool to get real-time information from your sites so that you know when uh, that information is actually going on or the, when things are happening at your site. And now we'll go on to the question and answer phase. I don't believe I saw any questions answered during the presentation. Nothing yet, but we'll give, uh, we'll give a minute for anybody to ask any specific questions they may have about the real-time dashboard.
we don't have any questions. We'll go ahead and continue. So if you have any questions about anything at all, or we've got multiple ways to schedule a training session that you can cover specific things. So if you want to cover smart features and you maybe need some assistance with the uh, instructions, um, even though it's already provided in the support center, we've got multiple ways in order for you to train uh, to schedule a training session. And these training sessions are done like the lunch and learns are done, where a member of the customer uh, support and success team uh, essentially shares their screen with you. And in some cases, they'll allow you to share your screen so that you can do it. Um, it depends on the the trainer, um, and it depends on how, how you request to be done. So in the Lunch and Learn email, there's a Schedule a Training Session button, so the first Lunch and Learn email of the month. If you're logged in the main site as an administrator, you'll see the option under Support for Request Training. And on the Support Center, there's a Schedule Online Training button to in the bottom, sorry, not the bottom, but the right-hand corner of the screen. Speaking of the Support Center, you can locate it at support.officerreports.net. It has pretty much everything and anything you'd want to know about officer reports, how-tos, step-by-step instructions, um, frequently asked questions. But again, if you need to, uh, to schedule a training session, it needs a little bit more insight on how to set something up for your specific needs, feel free to, of course, schedule an online training session. Our technical support team can be reached at tech support at allsoreports.com. This seems absolutely great at uh, getting back to you, quick response times, detailed um, as far as you know, what you need to do to accomplish what you're looking to do. And they're really uh, top-notch, top-quality team. I'm very proud of our technical support team here at officerreports.com and that they give the best customer experience possible as a very customer experience focus here at Officer Reports. Well, that looks like it's all the time we have for today's Lunch and Learn. Hope everybody has a great lunch. And if you uh, haven't eaten or have already eaten, hope it's eaten rather, I hope it was well. And I look forward to seeing everybody at next month's lunch session. Thank you. Have a pleasant day.